What's going on everybody in YouTube land? I'm Rick Knight, the Bad Philosopher, uploading another video. Um, this video is going to be a video that uh, responding to a friend of mine, Oleg, who left a comment on one of my videos. The uh, video that I put up was, why I'm a capitalist. Uh, if you go back and watch the video, I give you a few um, ideas of why I'm a capitalist opposed to a socialist. Um, to, to give you a really brief summary of why I'm a capitalist and not a socialist is because socialism completely sucks. Plain and simple. All right, so now let's move on to the question. Um, Oleg wrote, I agree wholeheartedly, wealth is created, not distributed. Why do you think is, what do you think is the reason behind this resurgence of socialism? What are your thoughts on why people support and favor meteorocracy? Okay, um, good question. Uh, the, these, this is, I think this is, these questions are kind of linked together. I, I think socialism is the result of meteorocracy, right? I think people, people, are, pe people want to work on an average level because it's, it's comfortable for them, right? Just, just to be average. Just use your natural ability, your natural talent, your natural intellect. You don't have to push further. You don't have to push harder. You don't have to try harder. You don't have to, you don't have to do any of those things. You could just show up. You can have a nice easy day and, and you know, get a little work done and, and, and go home early and, and, and watch one of the reality shows or whatever it is that, that you know, people like this like to, like to do. And they don't have to work hard, right? It's the, the whole participation trophy you know, analogy that you know, they want everyone to get a trophy and they don't want anyone to get the gold because the person who gets the gold had to work harder and he, had to, he, he or she had to outperform everybody. They had to outcompete everyone and put the most effort in or at least have the most uh, capability or talent to, uh, to, get, to get the gold. Uh, they don't want to do that. They don't want to have to work hard for that. They rather just be average because being average is, you know, it's, it's easier to lose than to, to play the game and win, right? Losing is easy. You could just not play the game or you could just put minimum effort and then just lose and say, okay, whatever. I didn't break a sweat. I don't care, right? Winning, to win the game, you have to play harder. You have to be smarter. You have these things that, that you, there's energy you have to put into, in, into winning, right? But losing is, you know, losing is, is, is easy. So these are people that don't want to play. And, 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 and they don't want to try to win. They'd rather just lose because it's easy. They'd rather lose and say, hey, government, give me money. Give me a check. It's not fair. That guy's winning. He has a lot of money. Give it to me. I'm average. I don't want to work hard. And, and I think that's the, the attitude that a lot of them have. And because of that, I think it leads to socialism. I think socialism is the mechanism, the tool to, to, you know, to, to, to get what they want so they don't have to work for it. They don't want to get it the old-fashioned way. But they, they need a way to do it, right? So like if you're going to rob someone, it's better to rob someone with a gun. You don't want to try to rob somebody with, you know, which is your bare fist. What if they're a better fighter than you, right? You, you don't want that. What, what if you didn't see that there was a couple of his friends sitting in the car and now he get, they get out of the car and now you're surrounded. So you're going to rob someone, you rob someone with a gun. It's the best uh, tool to use to rob someone with, right? Because all you, you know, pow, you shoot someone and run if you have to, right? It's easy. The biggest man will fall when he gets shot. So that's easy. And I think socialism is the gun, for a lot of these people who live this, you know, live, you know, in meteorocracy, they they need a gun to rob people so so they can get a piece of the pie because they're not willing to work hard enough for a piece of the pie. So they rather rob from people who are willing to work hard enough. So socialism is it's the tool, it's the gun that they use to to take from other people, and the reason why they they use something like that is because these are just average people that don't want to push and strive to be above average. They, they, they don't, you know, they don't want to put any effort into it. You know, if, if you're like that, if you're someone who's like that and, and you, you don't want to work hard and push further and you're comfortable just being average and you're comfortable just using your natural ability and your natural talent without trying to, to, you know, to upgrade yourself, that's fine. But don't advocate to take what doesn't belong to you from someone else to, you, you, you know, to, to satisfy, you know, to yourself or, or to give you, you know, a piece of the pie. You know, if you're not willing to work hard, then at least just say, hey, look, I'm only doing enough to earn enough so I can just live and, 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 and find a little comfort in life. And what the next man is doing, I don't care. If he's making a ton of money, that's his business. I don't want to take his money from him, right? There's nothing wrong with that. But when you advocate socialism and you want to take from other people who are successful, um, I think it's, it's a, a very, very bad idea. So I think uh, the mediocrity is, it, it leads to socialism. I think socialism is the tool that they use 
to uh, 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 get what they want and need so they don't have to physically and mentally work hard and compete with other people to get that. They're terrible at, at competition. Uh, that's why you don't find, you know, I don't, I don't think you can find many wealthy people that advocate socialism unless they're just completely ignorant and they don't know what it is. You know, like these, these celebrities who have all this money in the world and they advocate for socialism and they have no idea what they're talking about. They have no clue at all. They're completely lost and they will collapse under any kind of scrutiny. But I think to them it's trendy to say, you know, oh yeah, yeah, socialism, it's great. I think it's trendy for them to look at some of these socialists as revolutionary. I think to them, they look at what's trending. They look at, you know, the group that's advocating for socialism. They're Democrats, they're liberals, they're on the left. So yeah, they have to be virtuous. So I support them. Yeah, go socialism. But I don't think they truly know what socialism really means and what it is. Um, and if they do, I think they're just afraid to speak out and say something because we know how left-leaning Hollywood is and we know that your career can pretty much uh, uh, get thrown in the trash can if, um, you know, if you're anywhere right of Bernie Sanders. So, but most people are socialists, I believe they're socialists uh, because they, they, they are of the most average people in every way, shape, and form and they're not willing to try to push any further than just being average. And just being average doesn't set you apart, right? Because there's, there's usually, you know, one chief and, you know, one chief to X amount of Indians. So when you're at work, there's only, a, you know, a, you know your, your supervisor, your manager, the owner of the company, whatever it is, whoever, whoever is the, the chief in, 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 in your, you know, in, in, in your group at work, right? Like there's only one or two of them versus the whole office of, of Indians. So not everyone can get a chance to be the chief. You have to work hard to be the chief. You know, you, you have to pay the cost to be the boss. And with a lot of these socialists, they don't want to pay the cost to be the boss. They want to just say, just cut me in on yours. You'll be the boss, but just cut me in on it so I don't have to do anything. I don't have to work hard. And, and that's it. And it's because they're not willing to work for it. So I think, to, to recap what I'm, what, what, what I'm saying, I think uh, 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 people favor mediocrity because it allows them to effortlessly put in you know um a minimum amount of work so they don't have to be uncomfortable right they don't have to inconvenience themselves and but they still want to be successful they still you know if they can't be successful they don't want to see you be successful because it's not fair and they use socialism as the tool to take from you so it can offset them so they don't just uh they don't just lose completely because you know they don't, they don't want to lose, but they don't want to play hard to win. So, I mean, that's the best I got at the moment. I, I hope that answers your question. Um, oh, that's it. Thanks a lot for commenting, Oleg. I will talk to you again, my friend. Everybody else out there, please. If you have any comments, you have the comment section. If you want me to reply to your video, you can reply uh, uh, in a comment. And, and, and if I have the time, which I, I definitely do, I'll, I'll reply to you. Uh, subscribe and like. Uh, my channels and help me out so I don't have to be this average losing guy. I want to be up there with the rest of them. Thank you very much. I'm out.